Hey guys, I'm Sunny with Love and welcome to my new vlog. So right now I'm in India in Puttaparthi and yeah, well, we came here at the end of December. We stay in Puttaparthi, we stay in Ashram, as you can hear the like mantra singing. And actually first week I came here I had no internet, no Wi-Fi and like nothing. So the whole week I was like basically out of this world, like I didn't use my phone, I didn't use my MacBook, I didn't reply anyone, so I was completely just chilling and like going to see mantras and just relaxing this atmosphere here and yeah, having a break from like all the social media and internet basically. I just wanted to tell you a bit about, about my life here in India, like, so Puta Park is a very small town nearby Bangalore, about like uh, four or five hours drive on the car from Bangalore to here. It's a town where Sai Baba was born and where he like built his ashram and the very many devotees and enlightened people and people coming for enlightenment and for peace of mind. So and yeah and it's you know it's really amazing after a long time traveling and working everywhere it's really nice to just come here and chill and relax in this atmosphere. We stay in the Ashram apartment and we have a private room for two and it only costs 200 rupees which is, I don't know, it's like very little. I'll try to, I'll exchange to US dollars and put it like here but it's very little. And we have a private room which I'll show you. Ashram, you also have several um, buffets, like canteens where you can come and eat, like South Indian canteen, North Indian canteen, Western canteen, and each one of them has like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which you can have very cheap, like different kinds of food. cannot buy food there so I normally buy my food on the market. There is also like you can buy some fresh coconuts here in Ashram, you can buy like tea, coffee if you wish.
is library and bookstores, like outdoor stores, and all, all about setup, of course. And then a uh, little veggie shop, like with vegetables and fruits and stuff, like dry stuff, and big like kind of like bazaar where you can buy like all kind of stuff and food and I don't know, things for personal care and clothing and some dishes as well. And, and and it's all on a in a in a ashram. It's just the ashram I'm showing you right now. And then yeah, lots of different stuff. Like I'll show you some here. And also they have one gear, which is not allowed to film, so I cannot show you like the how it's inside. But it's very beautiful, very colorful. Like every day from eight to nine thirty, and from five four thirty to about about six six thirty depends. They have budget dungeons and budgets there, so you come and then they sing mantras. If there are some festivals, they have like special performances there and sometimes kids performing, some theater performances, music, dance performances, some ministers come and like kind of big people and from all over the world and it's really really spectacular like place and very high vibrational. Also when there are like some festivals in Mandir after after Darjan and Bajan, it's like you see you see there on the floor. They sometimes they, they give prasad, which is like, for example, for everyone they give apple or orange or like some sweet little baked, I don't know, cookie or something. And it's all, it's like a spiritual food, it's very good. And then, yeah, and if it's a festival, like if there's some special occasion, they give it to everyone. And my dear capacity is 20,000 people. So can you imagine how much it is? And then also like to come inside one year, they check you very carefully that you don't have any phone, any camera. You cannot bring food or bags there at all. You need to live in a clock room. And also the dress code is very strict. Like you need to have um, ankle length skirt and uh, a scarf and like short with not too short sleeves. Like they always check it and make sure you have it. And then you come there, you, you gotta sit on the floor. And men also, and also like what is interesting here in Ashram, men and women, they're always separate. Like, uh, even in Mandir, like women have, uh, women have separate entrance and men have separate entrance as well. And men dress code, they also gotta wear only long pants and shirts and it's gotta be all white. So it's very strict, but it's really cool and then you come inside and they we all sit separately and sing songs and at the end like they sing something and you repeat like Shanti 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 and it's it's really amazing and like I really enjoy it and I'm like kind of discovering Indian music for myself, Indian mantras as something new. Like I always knew that but I never felt it like I feel it here. And it's amazing and even the fact that you're like in the morning even if you don't go there you can still hear bhajans and dajans all around the ashram for the speakers so you wake up like in the morning and then it's already you can hear it in just even sitting in your room and also at about 5 5 30 a.m they doing kind of like they walking like i never done it yet myself but the, the group of men, separate, and of course the separate group of women, they go and they kind of walk around, around Mandir and sing mantras as well, which is also amazing. And yeah, and like that, here in Ashram, it's very chill, it's very amazing. It's like, it's, you go inside and it's so peaceful. It's like, it's like a paradise, really. Like, 
like on in real life. Everyone's so friendly, everyone's so full of love and happiness. Everyone is willing to help you and you're willing to help everyone. And everyone's so chill and relaxed. It's like if you need a peace of mind you, you definitely need to come here. Or but the funnier thing is like people say you can only come here when you're ready and when Sai Baba wants you to come. Like many people told me that and I find found out about this place in Sai Baba one year ago and now I'm here and I'm really grateful for this because this is like amazing and really amazing things happen here like you want something you wish for something and the answer or what you want comes to you straight away like it's really amazing and like it's unbelievable I feel like so far like really we we need something like anything and then we find it straight away so yeah really amazing also if you go outside ashram it's much more busy of course like more noisy and there you're gonna find like big markets with very fresh yum fruits and veggies and coconuts which are all very tasty here very organic like they're not too sweet they're very natural taste very like like just just amazing and they have really yummy papaya, mango, chico right now in season, pomegranate, pineapples which I haven't tried yet, grapes and yeah as a fruitarian I feel very comfortable here because I can eat so much yummy stuff and very delicious coconuts as well so and another amazing thing everyone is wearing like long saris here and long skirts and like a pijabis so it's basically impossible to see here a girl wearing a short, short skirt or shorts or even trousers. Like I've seen maybe twice or like a few times maybe a girl wearing jeans. And then even if they wear trousers, it's more like, you know, like this kind of like hippie trousers. So. And even inside ashram, everything is divided, like ladies separate and men are separate. Like even the, like they have buildings for people if they want to live there and we live in the house now and it's only for women so there are no men at all and then there are separate ones for men and they have mixed one as well but it's only for married couples so if you're not married you cannot live there together which is cool and also like when you when you're outside when you're on the territory of ashram you cannot do any intimate things with like men and women together like you cannot hug you cannot hold hands you cannot kiss nothing like that at all it's very strictly prohibited and then even if you go to eat like there's separate lines for men separate lines for women and it's all divided different entrances everywhere and i kind of really like it i really enjoy it it's like it's very unique and i don't know it makes it very peaceful to live here to stay here also very many monkeys which stole your fruits. We had an accident, like a monkey came to our apartment when we were away. So we went out and we left the window open. Stupid. But yeah, we did. And then we come back and there was like all fruits we had at home, like ba bananas, papaya, mango, figs. It was all eaten by monkey and like only like some stuff on the floor, like they, they couldn't even finish it and then yeah. And then after that we always close the window and then even we saw how like monkey was like knocking and trying to open the window even when we were at home. You can go here to do yoga in the morning and meditation. Even like if you go outside you can go take a rickshaw and maybe 15 minutes from here. Maybe 10 minutes from here from rickshaw. You come to one place to Dr. Ramu and with him you can do yoga and greet sunset sunrise we did it once and it was very cold so like waiting until the weather will be a little bit warmer but yeah, it's beautiful you see how the sunrise comes and we meditate there and do yoga and it was just wow very unique experience so yeah like this and i hope it like open up you a little bit about india and I'll do more vlogs about about it. I, I do more vlogs about this place and tell you more. But this is just my uh, the feelings I got now after living like a couple of weeks here and not a couple of weeks. How long I live here? Oh yeah, about two weeks I think now. I kind of lost count, you know, the days. But yeah, after about two weeks living here, this is how I feel about it, and I really love this place. So. 
for now we'll be here and then we'll see what happens next but anyways i hope you see this video soon and stay, please stay with me and i'll show you more wish you lots of love please thumbs up if you like this video please subscribe if you have any questions about this place or india or put a party please ask me i'd love to i will be happy to answer you and yeah see you soon with more news and adventures in india love you all